Tampines, which was started in 1978, is the most valuable town in Singapore in 2019. And this could be due to five attractive attributes. Hi everyone, I'm Ethan. I'm Michelle, we're from Urban Agents. Today we're going to share with you some interesting data story about Tampines Estate. Just in case you're wondering, we're not going to talk about where to shop or what to eat, but rather a detailed analysis of the resale HDB market in Tampines itself. Just in case you're not aware, Tampines also includes the HDB flats in Simei. Okay, the data that we'll be sharing will be uh, 2019 full year, so that we can have a clean set of data. Um, 2020 is disrupted by COVID, so we decided not to use it for now. For residents of uh, Simi and Tampines, uh, today you get to learn some basic statistics of your estate. Okay, before we go on any further, we have actually compiled a very detailed report on the market analysis of the transactions happening in Tampines itself. So if you want a copy of this report, do give us a call or you can drop us a text. So now let's head straight to the data itself. Tampines, which was started in 1978, is the most valuable town in Singapore in 2019. And this could be due to five attractive attributes. Okay, firstly, it's the first regional centre which was developed to be self-sufficient with a wide array of facilities and this includes a total of five major shopping malls. We have the Tampines Mall, Century Square and Tampines One in Tampines MRT the East Point Mall at Simei MRT as well as the Changi City Point in Singapore Expo MRT. And on top of that, we also have the IKEA Tampines which was developed to serve the residents as well as the entire East region. Secondly, the addition of the Tampines East and Tampines West MRT towards the end of 2017 gave the residents access to the downtown line and this makes commute so much more convenient when they're travelling to the CBD area. The residents with school-going children also has ample choice of schools such as Poiching School, St Hilda's Primary, Gongshan Primary as well as the United World College of Southeast Asia. And on top of that, for tertiary education, parents have the choice of Tomasek Polytechnic as well as the Singapore University of Technology and Design, which was relocated near to the Changi Business Park in 2015. Fourthly, the residents also have ample choice of outdoor activities where they can go to the nearby parks, and that includes the Tampines Eco Green, as well as the Sun Plaza Park, and on top of that, it's just a short drive to Pasir Ris Beach and the Changi Beach where the families can get to enjoy outdoor activities together. Last but not least, Tampines is also close proximity to Changi Business Park which is known as the CBD in the East, uh, Changi Airport, Jewel at Changi which was opened in 2019, as well as Terminal 5 in the near future. And this offers vast job opportunities and convenience to its residents. Naturally, the young generation who are looking to start a new family would want to stay near to their parents. And because their limited choice of BTO, they will definitely go for the HDB resale flats. Wow, seems like there's a lot of potential in Tampines area itself. Okay, let's have a look at this chart. Hey, this is the HDB resale transaction volume chart for the whole of Singapore. Tampines has the 5th highest resale HDB transactions in Singapore itself, trailing behind Sengkang, Woodlands, Yishun, and Jurong West. Okay, now there's one thing you need to know. Tampines itself is second largest HDB estate in Singapore. But the resale transaction is trailing at number 5 because Tampines is a mature estate with lesser BTO. With lesser BTO meeting MOP period, there will be lesser unit for sale compared to those newer estates like Sengkang. Okay, the same goes for Jurong West Estate. Okay, it's the largest estate in Singapore in 2019, but the resale transactions itself is trailing at number 4 because there aren't many BTOs over there. Next, we'll be looking at the prices of the different flat types in Tampines itself. We'll be focusing on 3 rooms all the way to the executive flats because for the 2 rooms and multi-generation flats, the volumes are pretty negligible. For the trim flats, there are a total of 320 transactions in 2019. And the average price is at 337,000 with the maximum price of 510,000. The units with the high resale transacted value are mostly concentrated in Tampines Central 7, Central 8, as well as the 500 series HDB blocks. Moving to the forum flats, based on the total of 586 transactions in the same year, we have an average resale price of 442000 
and the highest price transacted at 718,000. Similarly, this high resale value of more than 550,000 happened in the same area as the three-room flat, as well as a handful of them in the DBSS in Park Lumia. Okay, coming to the five-room flat, the average transacted resale price is 550,000. And the highest transacted price is 888,000 ones, far, far, far. Okay, there's a total of 369 transactions in 2019 itself for this category. From 3-room flat, 4-room flat and 5-room flat, we found that most of the high value activity occurs in Tampines Central 7, Tampines Central 8 and Simei Lane itself. And it goes to show that a healthy lease coupled with a proximity to a MRT station plays an important role in achieving high value for a HDB. Moving on to executive apartment and executive maisonette, which we usually call the EA or the EM, they usually do not have a long lease left compared to the new HDB. But as of today, we still have unit that has a lease of about 75 years left because the government stopped building it in around 1995. Okay, there is a total of 121 transactions in the EA and the EM segment. The average transacted price is 667000 and the highest transacted price is 886000 happening in Block 472, Tampines Street 44. The more popular street for EA and EM are in Tampines Avenue 5, Tampines Street 12, Street 32, Street 41, and Street 81. They form slightly more than half the transactions in this segment itself. Now that we've seen the prices for the different flat types in Tampines, let us now look at the top 10 most expensive units in Tampines itself. Apparently, these units are a mixture of the older and newer flats. And out of these 10, Three of these units are transacted in Street 42 and 44, whereby two of them are multi-generation flats and one of them being an executive apartment. As these two types of flats are pretty limited in terms of supply and extremely rare, buyers are more willing to pay a higher price even though the balance lease is only about 66 years. Next, we'll be looking at which are the hottest streets in Tampines. By the way, I'm not talking about the temperature, but I'm talking about the transaction volume in Tampines itself. Looking at the chart, we can see that the best selling street is Tampines Street 21 with a total of 109 transactions and Tampines Central 7 with a total of 103 transactions. We will say that these two streets are the prime street in Tampines. On the other hand, Tampines Central 7 is also close to a bus interchange, Tampines MRT station, shopping malls and offices. Therefore, it's always good to be staying near the central area where you get almost everything within a short walking distance. Let us now take a look at the average age of the units that's being transacted in 2019. From the chart, we can see that the average balance lease of the units is around 72 years. Based on the total of 1413 transactions, more than 60% of the units have a balance lease of 70 years or less. One of the reasons could be that owners are beginning to understand that the shorter the lease, the less they are able to maximize from the value of their flat and the pool of buyers also gets smaller due to the restrictions that they face from the loan as well as the CPF usage. Looking at the map for Tampines HDB estate, I think this town is quite convenient in terms of MRT access because about 70% of the HDB blocks are of reasonable walking distance to uh, Tampines MRT Station, Tampines West MRT Station, Tampines East MRT Station, and Simei MRT Station. Okay, further to that, on the earlier chart where it shows Tampines being the most valuable HDB estate in Singapore, we believe that uh, in the future, Tampines will continue to maintain the top spot due to the massive future development being planned out by URA, which uh, I'll be talking more on in the next video. If you'd like to meet us for a discussion or to get a copy of the detailed analysis report, do give us a call. I'm Michelle. I'm Ethan. We are from Urban Agents. If you'd like to see more of such videos, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.